Let's talk about apple cider vinegar and the role it can play in helping you to reverse insulin resistance. Apple cider vinegar has long been praised for its health benefits, everything from killing bacteria to improving skin health. But what we're gonna focus on today is the effect it has on our blood sugar and our insulin levels. Because if we can control these, we can start to reverse insulin resistance and also prediabetes and type two diabetes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post new videos twice a week here on YouTube talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Apple cider vinegar is vinegar made from fermented apple juice. And you might think that because it's made from apple juice, it would be high in sugar, but it's actually not because the fermentation process breaks down the sugar. By the time it's turned to vinegar, there is no sugar left. But how does it tie in with blood sugar and insulin and managing them? Well, studies show that consuming apple cider vinegar before a meal significantly lowers the blood sugar and insulin response to that meal. One study had participants take apple cider vinegar before a high carb meal consisting of a bagel and orange juice. They compared this to a group who ate the same food but didn't have the apple cider vinegar before. Now, after they were done eating, the group who had the apple cider vinegar before were 34% more insulin sensitive. But what exactly does this mean for insulin resistance and diabetes? Both of these conditions are a result of the body not managing blood sugar efficiently. They're actually the same thing, or I should say that insulin resistance causes type two diabetes. But insulin resistance starts long before you see any changes to your fasting blood sugar. So it often goes undiagnosed in these early stages. If we can identify and address insulin resistance early, we can stop it before it eventually leads to type two diabetes. Because when you first become insulin resistant, the excess insulin that your body is creating is enough to manage the excess blood sugar. Basically, it can keep it in check so your blood sugar looks normal. But eventually there becomes a point where the insulin can't keep up anymore. And this is when your fasting blood sugar will start to rise. Now, before I get ahead of myself, we need to talk about what exactly insulin resistance is so that we can understand how apple cider vinegar can help us to combat it. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos and you're already familiar with insulin resistance, then you might wanna skip ahead. I always have timestamps right here on the progress bar so you can skip to whatever part you like. So what is insulin? Insulin is a hormone known as the fat storage hormone. When we eat, blood sugar goes up and insulin increases in order to take the energy from our bloodstream and bring it to our cells. Now, when we become insulin resistant, our cells have stopped responding to insulin correctly. So your insulin remains elevated and eventually your blood sugar will remain elevated as well. Now, because insulin resistance is caused by high insulin levels, the remedy to combat it is to keep insulin and our need for insulin as low as possible. When insulin is kept low, our cells become more sensitive to it once again. And as they become more sensitive to it, our blood sugar and our insulin levels return to normal. But what causes insulin to remain high in the first place? There are a number of factors that can come into play, but the main one is diet. When we eat, the carbohydrates in our meal are broken down into glucose. This raises our blood sugar. And in response to this rise in blood sugar, the pancreas releases insulin. Insulin, as we spoke about before, is responsible for managing blood sugar. So it takes the excess sugar out of the bloodstream and brings it to our cells. Eating too many carbohydrates and eating them frequently means the body is constantly pumping out insulin in order to keep blood sugar in check. And as we already talked about, this constant stream of insulin is what causes our cells to become insulin resistant. And to reverse it, we need to keep our insulin low. And guess what? Apple cider vinegar can help us to do just that. Having one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar diluted in water can significantly lower the blood sugar and insulin response to that meal. One study done on participants who were eating white bread found their blood sugar response to the bread was 30% lower when they had apple cider vinegar beforehand. I know this sounds almost too good to be true, but there is so much solid evidence out there supporting the benefits of apple cider vinegar for blood sugar control. 
Another study had type 2 diabetics take apple cider vinegar before bed and their fasting blood sugar was 4% lower in the morning. Clearly, there's something to this. Now, a question that I've asked a lot is what if you can't stand the taste of apple cider vinegar? And that's fair. It is a really strong taste. Now, the capsules, they do have a little bit of an effect, but the liquid is more effective. Gummies steer clear of those entirely. A lot of them have added sugars and fillers, and the sugars in particular are actually counterproductive to what you're trying to achieve by taking apple cider vinegar. So it's just pointless. But anyways, an alternative I do recommend to apple cider vinegar that works just as well, if not better, is good idea drinks. These drinks contain a unique blend of amino acids that do the same thing vinegar does. They improve our cells' ability to accept insulin and they support healthy carb metabolism. Good idea drinks are lightly carbonated and they come in five different flavors. Lemon is their newest one and it has quickly become my favorite. They recommend drinking one third of a can before your meal and sipping on the rest of the can through it. If you want to check them out, they are currently only available in the United States. You can shop online through the link I'm going to put in the description box down below. They're also, I think, at a few specialty grocery stores and you can find that information on their website. But I do have a promo code that saves you 10% off. So if you want to use that, shop online. The code is Kate10. Now, before I wrap up, I just want to say that apple cider vinegar and even good idea drinks, they're not magic. They can mitigate the blood sugar and insulin response to the food we're eating, but simply incorporating them into your routine and not making any other diet changes is not enough to reverse insulin resistance. And reversal should be the goal because it is possible. And if you're only focused on managing the symptoms of insulin resistance and not on reversing it, you're really setting yourself up for more health problems down the line. Because being insulin resistant significantly increases your risk of diabetes, of PCOS, of heart disease, of Alzheimer's. It is at the root of so many modern day diseases. So what's the best way to reverse insulin resistance? Reduce your carbs, or at least be smart about them, and eat less frequently. I have several videos on my channel talking about how to reverse insulin resistance if you want some more tips and steps you can take. So I'll link one of those up above and you can check that out afterwards. If you follow the tips that I outline in this video and you add apple cider vinegar or good idea drinks into your routine, that is going to make a massive difference in your insulin resistance. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that it helped to shed some light on the role that apple cider vinegar can play in our blood sugar and our insulin levels. Let me know in the comment section down below if you consume apple cider vinegar regularly and any benefits you've noticed. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section and commenting on my videos really helps to support them. So even if you just wanna say hi, you can do that down below. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on how to lower your HbA1c. You can check that out here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you want to check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.